Well, hello, this is Brother West. I'm still moving. I was going to do a video standing still and sitting down, but the elements, oftentimes I, I, I work with the elements that I have. I want to have a word. I want to give you a word, a word, um, instructions, word of encouragement, um, a direct word, and that is to remain faithful. God wants you to remain faithful. And faithful, faithful, faithfulness is consistency. It's faith doing the same thing over and over again. It's like a relationship. When two people get together, they become faithful. They talk every day. They do the same thing every day repetitively. And what happens, they build a bond. The thing about it with faith, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith is like, faith is, uh, faith hearing the word comes from the word. It's the substance. And the more you hear the word, the more the substance of that word will cause your faith to grow. Then what will happen, because of your consistency, your faith will become full. And when your faith becomes full, when you come and when you become, when you get into dangerous situations, when you go through trials and tribulations, what will happen because your faith is full, your faith will become operated and it will be used. It's almost like going to a gas station and getting different types of grades of gas. You can get the cheap, cheap stuff, the 87, or you can get the 93. Now the cheap stuff, uh, on a trip, it's going to burn real fast because it's mixed with water. But now the more good stuff, it's going to take longer to burn. And so when you have, when, when you keep trusting God, what's going to happen, he's going to cause your substance to remain and not burn much at all. And so, and, and, and what does burn, uh, it's fighting away and it's causing you to stand. It's causing you to stand and it's causing you to fight against the wilds of the enemy. The Bible says to uh, to have the shield of faith. The shield of faith is a thing, is a covering which blocks dots, blocks things to come to get to your heart, which is the watchman, the word of God. And so when I say faith, being faithful, that means your faith is full because of your consistency in God. The Bible says, God said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done to you. And so in remaining faithful is that when you abide in God, he will cause whatever you need to become a supply. He will become a supply to your need as long as you abide or abide in him. And so faithfulness, meaning that the remain faithful, be consistent. You know, be consistent. And just like when you believe for healing, remain faithful in that healing. If you're having faith on a certain deliverance, on a certain um, breakthrough, on your marriage coming out, on your marriage being re re repaired, on your heart being repaired, on your life being restored, on receiving whatever it is, what calls it to happen is your faithfulness. In other words, you don't give up, you don't change your mind, you're steadfast, you're immovable, and you're always abounding in the work of God. And so you got to be stuck or you got to be still and believe it and don't change your mind. Faithfulness is saying, God, I believe you and I ain't going to change my mind. And so whatever you go tell your situation, and tell that devil or tell your circumstances that you're not going to move, you're not going to let go, but you're not going to change your mind because you're faithful unto God. God bless you. Have a good day.